Hello and welcome back. This will be a very short video where I'd like to introduce some more advanced or rather unusual ways of placing IK effectors to achieve interesting results. I'll start with uh, this running character here. And if you've seen my uh, longer demonstrations, I always, uh, in those ones, I always kept the effectors at ankles and wrists. We had a situation where we wanted to have the character go in the air, lifting one foot. And then I wanted to keep the toes into position. So what I did at the time was I activated onion skinning, zoomed in and literally matched the toes so that the tip of the toe matched my previous keyframe. This is obviously one way of doing it and it's perfectly valid and very effective because it does the job. But it begs a question. Can we pin the toes? Can we create an effector? I'll just add a, an IK controller and then holding down shift, I'll try to drag it over the foot and we get this warning here, which says no magnet target. Obviously, you know that effectors attach to magnet targets, so we need to go inside the foot and add a magnet target. There we go. Now we have a magnet target. I'll put it here and we'll go outside. Now, once we have a magnet target inside the foot, we can actually attach a controller to it. The direction of this controller is right. And now let's see what happens if we start pulling the character up. Nothing happens. We have a controller conflict, all right? I'll undo and switch this controller. This time, if I pull, we get our result. We get what we wanted. Our toes are pinned and we can just drag the character the way we want. Now, this is the IK chain this time. So if we would like to straighten this leg, we should use the forward kinematic by dragging this element directly. Or we can use the other controller, but then the pin will move. So, drag the torso, adjust the other leg using this controller, and then the leg using FK the way we wanted. And now we have our pose. This is an easier way to achieve the same result. Now let's look at the other pose. I'll create the keyframe here and we'll create another new effector and we'll shift drag it over the upper arm. I'll have to flip it and I can switch it. Now let me zoom in a little bit. Now what will happen if I drag this effect? We can very easily and interactively pose the whole, the whole torso. So imagine you're animating to dialogue. You still have full control over the hands by dragging these effectors. By just a very easy pull and push, you can get organic looking keyframes for animating to dialogue. So little bends and little tilts with just a little pull and a little push. This is very cool. Now let's uh, try adding another effector. i just grab this one and add it here. Now, the direction probably is not right and I'll have to switch this one what can we have now? We can have in tapping. Tapping just like this. If I switch them, they can work like normal pins. If I switch, we can tap them like this. 
actually this will not prevent us from doing uh, the tapping thing but now if I if I pull we'll get a conflict so one has to be switched to the other mode if I switch this one it will function like this this is almost like a ballet like a ballet squat so I think uh, this will give you some more ideas what you can do with various effector positions. Thanks for watching.